Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to take the time to respond to a comment that was recently left on a video. So this comment was left on my video titled, Is Medical Assistant Easier Than CNA? So what I want to do is read this person's comment and then share my thoughts and or opinions once I'm done reading it. So this person said, I'm a CNA at a hospital in the med surge unit, so I've learned a lot. I'm looking into doing medical assistant and I feel like my knowledge will give me an advantage. I'm ready to be less physical too. Is the pay for medical assistant more than CNA? So I definitely feel like this is important to discuss because I know that when I was ready to be done with all of the physical aspect of CNA work, like don't get me wrong, I loved working as a CNA. I still keep my CNA certification active just because you never know when you might want to use it. And I truly do love like the close bond and interaction that you're able to form and get with your residents or patients, whoever you're caring for. Um, but physically, like I just could not handle it anymore. And so that's when I started looking into other options for other training, which is when I got into my phlebotomy class. And then eventually after struggling to find a just straight up phlebotomy job, um, other than at like a blood donation center or a plasma center, um, I looked into becoming a medical assistant and, um, I was under the impression that I was going to get paid more than I did as a CNA, which is true in some circumstances, but I feel like especially after COVID, it is not entirely true. So I also want to just um, put this out there that it's going to depend on the area that you live in, the type of setting that you're going to work in as a medical assistant, and I would definitely not compare your medical assistant pay to someone who is an agency CNA or a travel CNA, um, just throwing that out there. So I will say that actually medical assistant pay is one of the reasons why I stopped working full-time as a medical assistant and switched over to the sleep center. So there were m multiple factors that went into me making the decision to switch, but pay was definitely one of them. And I'm just going to throw this out there. So this is not what I currently get paid. But when I stopped working full time as a medical assistant, I was getting paid $15.75 an hour. When I switched from working in the clinic full time, I still work there as a call in. When I switched from the clinic full time to working full time in the sleep center, I got bumped up to $17.75 an hour, so $17.75 an hour. I have since been bumped up to $18.28 an hour, and I am in the process of trying to take my CPSGT exam, um, which will bump me up even more. So um, I will say that the least I got paid as a CNA was $10.10 an hour, and that was when I first got certified. That was my very first job um, that was working in a locked memory care unit. The most that I ever got paid, this was in the state of Indiana, I should say, because um, I have not worked as a CNA in any other state other than Indiana. Um, I was a CNA. I have my CNA certification in multiple states, but I haven't worked there. Um, in 2008, when I was in LPN school, um, which I did not finish, I got my CNA and did clinicals at a nursing facility in Omaha, Nebraska, but I did not get paid for that, obviously, because it was clinical um, training. So I will say the most that I got paid as a CNA um, doing agency shifts was $17 an hour. Um, that was prior to COVID and during COVID. Um, so I will say that at the hospital that I currently work at, their CNAs actually start out at a higher wage than our medical assistants. Their capped pay, like their highest amount that they're able to get per hour, um, once they've gone through all the steps. So we do step raises at the hospital that I work at, and I think there's six or seven steps before you max out. So their max pay that they can get is higher than the max pay that a medical assistant can get. 
at the hospital that I work at. So I would say definitely if you're interested in going into medical assisting, I would go on Indeed or any other um, job search site and see what they say as far as like hourly wage. Um, compare it to what you are getting as a CNA and see if you feel like it's worth it. So I definitely feel like if you're looking for something that is less physical but still within the healthcare field, medical assistant, I feel like personally was a good choice for me um, because it still allowed me to provide hands-on personal patient care, um, just not as physical. Like I said, when I was working on the trach unit and I was not getting help from the nurse and it was just me on night shift caring for dozens of um, trach patients who, you know, were mostly bed bound, um, not really able to help you with turning or repositioning or anything like that. I really screwed up my back and it was already screwed up because, you know, I have some structural abnormalities with my spine to begin with um, because I do have a mild form of spina bifida that I was born with. And I recently found that out um, shortly after I became a CNA. So like my back problems still exist to this day. I'm still waiting on a neurosurgery consult for it, but I just think that you need to compare hourly wages in your area or whatever area you want to work in and see if you feel like it's worth it for you. I don't want to say that medical assistants get paid more than CNAs because again, the hospital that I work at, the CNAs start out at a higher hourly wage than the medical assistants do. And they also max out at a higher rate than the medical assistants do. So I think, like I said, it's good for you to look into the area that you live in, the area that you might be interested in working in, and see what those hourly wages are. Um, usually on Indeed, they put like a little range. So like I saw one on there for um, a place that I was thinking of moving to, and it was like $19 to $21 an hour. And obviously that's much different than what the medical assistants are making here um, because they start out at like $14.65, which is what I actually started out at as a medical assistant. And we are union, so that is a union wage um, because we do have a union pay scale for our nursing staff, which includes nurses, CNAs, and medical assistants. And my sleep tech position is also a union position. So I don't know. I just thought that I would share that information. Hopefully you found it helpful. I would be glad to answer any questions or share any knowledge that I have about the multiple positions that I've held. Um, I love talking about the experiences that I've had in healthcare um, in the hopes that somebody would get something helpful out of it, whether that's knowledge or just knowing that they're not the only one that has had to go through that. So if there's anything I can help with, any topics you'd like me to discuss more in a future video, please let me know and I'd be glad to get something filmed for you. And like I said, I hope this was helpful. So um, yeah, anyways, I will talk to you guys next time.